All right, hey guys, welcome to the fourth episode of the No Show. I am your host Nathan. Joining me as always, Greg. What's up, nerds? Gabe. Hello. And Luther. What up? Uh, we got some good stuff to talk about, uh, guys. Uh, we got some talk on handhelds. Are they dying out? We'll talk about that a little bit further. And we're also going to be talking about alphas and betas. Before, before we get to that, I want to have a little quick shout out for our Facebook, our Twitter, and of course our Instagram. Luther's back. What up? Back what a vengeance. The, back on the gram, guys. <laughs> back with a vengeance. Yes, yes, yes. Um, but make sure you guys, uh, if you listen to this, make sure you are on all those as, or as much as possible, if you'd like. Um, so facebook.com slash nerd outlet. And then on Twitter and Instagram, we are at nerd outlet. Very simple. Easy to remember. But before we get to the topic, guys, or topics, what games have we been playing this week? How about you? How about you, Luther? Uh, all I've been playing is a uh, Destiny, and no, I'll, that's all I've been playing. Mm-hmm. Online poker. <laughs> oh, and a little bit of online <laughs> poker and a little bit of you know virtual pinball. Huh? That's how I like to live my life. Hey, man. A little bit on the wild side. <laughs> so uh, are you, are you betting real money? Uh, bitcoins. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Big points. It's I mean, all about that, ver- that digital real currency. currency. Yeah, quote unquote. Because you know, Luther be doing some shady shit online. Hey, what can I say? You take it. I dabble in the dark net here and there. Uh, Tor. The pirate bay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I've been playing a little bit of Destiny too. Um, uh, they got a little what they what do they call them? Yeah, they call, it's yeah, basically an update, and uh, mm. they fixed a lot of the lag in the uh, in the multiplayer. Oh, okay. So, um, hopefully, I wouldn't say it's... That's the main reason I've been playing Destiny, is just yep, multiplayer. Yep, because I, is, do you, you notice a significant boost on your end when you're playing Crucible now? No, yeah. I see it. It's very, like, from game one, once I got some good internet, booted that thing up. Feels a lot bit better. Um, how about you, Gabe? I've been playing Forza. Which one? Ah, oh, dude, six, six, of course. Okay, okay, okay. Like, say a question. The new Porsche DLC came out. Dude, so, so good. About time they had Porsches back in there. You got my 911 GT3 in there? Of course they do. Fuck yeah. Yeah, they do. I need to buy this game. Dude, it's, <laughs> it's so good. But yeah, besides that, so I've been playing. I mean, I'm kind of bored of uh, Persona 4 and Fallout right now. I've played too much. It's bored such a of Persona I feel you. 4? Well, I mean, when yeah, you play it all no, in a week. No, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, like, you're like, I've had enough Persona. I kind of just want to take a break real the quick. The game's just so long and daunting. It's yeah. a lot to just yeah. keep playing. Because I, I haven't though, caught right? up to work. Yeah, I haven't how caught up to better? work. Better? Please tell me how much better. Oh, dude, a lot better. That's how you play that You game. rush through that game so fast. Yeah. But it's like, you get to enjoy everything. Dude, by the first dungeon, I was like level 20. I was like, this is ridiculous. This is awesome. I, I just it. run up it. floors like in the dungeons. I just straight. straight I don't even up. like fight really? people as mu- as little as I can. Yeah, uh, okay. I just run. Okay, let's see. I'm just. I don't want to get caught up. You know, like ah, uh, even though it's just easy, still getting your ass beat because you then you know level up or whatever. I feel you, man. I feel you. Um, I was playing a little bit of Destiny this week. Uh, of course, just a little bit of Halo. Nothing. I haven't really been playing that much. I got. I have so much midterms School. this week. So, um, yep. yeah, I've been kind of been. Chillaxing on video games lately. How many you get? You. Or Greg. Oh, my bad. Too many, too <laughs> no many goes. Too many goes. <laughs> uh, I played a little Taken King. Um, I did okay. like a single player mission to get my Force Lightning, more or less. Storm Trance? So I'm like a Sith now. Dude, it's just awesome. pretty fucking dumb. <laughs> I feel like the Emperor. I feel like the Emperor, like. Yeah. I honestly feel like more like the Emperor in that than I do in Battlefront. Yeah. Oh, but I mean, I feel like it lasts longer when you're. I mean, I feel like it's way more intense when you're doing the um, the uh, for I think it's called like for I like force trance in um, in Destiny when you oh no storm trance storm when you're trance, doing yeah. if, I feel like it lasts more longer and it's a lot more epic than it is yeah. when yep. you're the emperor yep. yeah it's really cool I like it um I also got to play some Uncharted Four multiplayer yeah, that's what I want to play over the weekend it was, it's, it's good yeah it's cool it's it's, good. it's fun it's a lot better than Uncharted Three. For sure, they still Would got you, loadouts, but it feels more balanced. Did you guys get? I mean, and I think like the like power up things you can get that's and pretty cool. Put to the D pad, like it's just another added layer. Like it's really simple. It's really just like fun multiplayer. It's not very competitive. Did like, you guys get to play when it uh first came out? What was it like in? Nah, I did not. Okay, because I want to know if it's improved. Because I played when it first dropped. It ran really well for me. Like no, yeah, I was no, running really well. No too. problem getting in matches. And there's no lag or kick really. Or, Anything okay. like that, so okay, that was okay. fun. And then uh, I got the division, so I've been playing that for the last out? last two days. Yeah, yeah it came game. out Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Oh, dude, I'm like dark on this game. <laughs> how how is it? Uh, I like it. I haven't really played 
too much. Yeah, we'll uh, probably talk about it next week. I mean, week. I'm at like where I was in the beta, so okay. I'm still early on. Mr. Broman on the Twitch was playing it, and it looks pretty dope. No, yeah, it does. Um, but I think I'm going to wait on sale. Um, I think with, like, right now where I'm at at gaming, it's kind of just playing multiplayer while I can because school's been so busy. Mm-hmm. And it's quick little five, ten-minute matches that I can just kind of breeze through and just call it kind of whenever. So I've been doing that, but um, Quantum Break's coming out soon. And uh, oh, yeah. I think that's coming out uh, right when my spring break starts. So... I think I'm gonna be playing a lot of that. Spring Break 2016, and then Quantum Break, and then May comes. 10th. May 10th we got <laughs> Uncharted, and then May 13th we got Doom. So I'm gonna be playing Quantum, probably going back to a little bit of a multiplayer by the time those two come out. I'm gonna have to binge. I'm gonna have to binge Uncharted like day one. Try to beat it in the first. Yeah, two days. beat it in a weekend or whatever. Yeah, that's what I want to do, and uh, play a little bit of the multiplayer, then get Doom and just plow through that game, dude. It's gonna be so good. It's a lot. It's a lot quicker too. It's only like two months, almost from the date. Mm-hmm. Give or give or take a couple more days, but I'm super stoked for it. Oh yeah. But anyway, guys, uh, we'll be right back with the first topic. All right, hey guys, so we're back. Be talking a little bit about handhelds for this first topic. Um, Greg, why don't you go with it? You you're the one that brought the topic up. Tell us tell us what your real question is about handhelds. Sure. Uh, so I was just. I guess every day when I go in my room and I'm like, what do I want to play? I take a look at my little 3DS there. Now it's just collecting dust. And then you You're laugh like, at nah. it and I'm like, you grab your Vita. Nah. And then I look at my Vita <laughs> beat the on my nightstand <laughs> yeah. and I'm like, yeah, there's some good stuff there, but I'm not, I'm not feeling that right now. So, you know, I go to my PS4 and then I really only bring out my Vita when I'm taking trips and things like that. And I was just kind of thinking, um, if in 2016, if handhelds are still like going to be a thing from here on out, and if you know they're going to like possibly be integrated with consoles, NX, <coughs> shout out, <Right>. shout out, <laughs> cough, cough. But I was just wondering, based on like how there's waning support for Vita games like right now, except what? for nah, dude. I mean, Vita's except for like and and Japanese <laughs> stuff, <laughs> I and know then what you mean, yeah. I it's guess dead. it just seems like a lot of people, I mean, don't really play their 3DS much because you get a game like what every six months or something, and then Maybe, you get, a, you get another you're really game. Hardcore into Pokemon. So you get like two games a year or something that you really want to play. Fire Emblem and Pokemon. Yeah, and most and a lot of them are now are like HD remakes How or something you, or Metroid Prime Heroes. Oh, Federation Force. <laughs> right. Federation, Federation Force. Force. That's Here what we go. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to see what you guys' thoughts were on handhelds and if you think you're ever gonna like. Buy a new one if a new one comes out, or if, nope. if no. integrating nope, it I'm into done. a console like NX is something Nathan, you're into. They've fucked it, me over. over so goddamn much yeah. with with handhelds, and like it used to be good. It used to be good with dude. We used I to still, have that fucking Game Boy Color. You would play that shit like dude. The original every time you were going the anywhere, Game Boy Color, dude. PSP, Even, PSP was uh, awesome. I never had one, but PSP had, had PSP. it. Had, PSP had great games. Sporadic. Vice City Stories. It's, yeah, Vice City come. Stories was great. <laughs> it was definitely more... It's basically like if the Vita was successful. And True. the God of Wars on Vita were actually pretty dope. I never got to play the second one, but I did play the first one. Yeah, I mean, like you definitely have franchises that are more on the uh, first party side that worked well because they didn't try to make it a, you know, yeah. a console level quality game while still being a handheld. <coughs> they were like, Rockstar. no, we are still a PSP, but we're going to tell a story within that vein. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's why I was, like, really excited when they announced the Bioshock Vita game. And it was going to be, like, a tactical. And I was like, dude, this is cool. That'd be pretty cool. Like, I love the Civil War. And I was like, all right, cool. We're going to have a cool little Civil War game. Like, I guess in the veins of how Halo Wars is to Halo. It'd be cool to just expand the expand on a story that really wasn't that much told. but And do it in a different, like, yeah. gameplay. Or, More and of a guess strategy what game instead of It was shooter. either a shitty game on the Vita, or it was like Bioshock Vita and just never saw the light of day. See, I wouldn't get another handheld, but I would like for the NX to, like, take off and and future consoles come with, like, I mean... A I hybrid, yeah. You know, like, like a hybrid thing now, because I do like using my Vita for indies. I feel like I play more indies on my Vita than I ever do on PS4. Mm-hmm. And that's just because I feel like it's easier. Mm-hmm. I feel like that control layout is a lot easier. 
for me. I don't I don't know why, but maybe it's because I've played out. so many like Game Boy games similar to like these indie indie games that, that's that they're getting now. That's what it's like. Yeah. Yeah, I guess because you're so used to like how a, how a many D pad feels. Yeah. That I mean that's true too. I feel like I, mean, I it's, you can all get the buttons quicker too. Yeah, you can hit them quicker if your if your hands aren't like big enough for it. So yeah, yeah. I mean, what do you what do you think, Gabe? You said you you agreed with me a little bit. Yeah, I mean, Gabe I, hasn't owned a hi- handheld since the Neo Geo Pocket. <laughs> we out here, dude. I still rep it. <laughs> still, that I'll, I'll that so I had a Nokia Engage. engage. <laughs> 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 no, nah, I mean, I'm just saying, like Vita. Besides Persona Four, I, I don't play anything else. Hey, on Vita. Gabe, yep. don't you own three Nvidia Shields? Dude, I, I really thought the Nvidia Shield was gonna take off, so I bought three of them so I can sell them at high prices when they when I bought them so low. Wait, what? Which, now what you can't you even flip for? them. You and, can't flip well, them. Okay, at so all. so they were like a thousand dollars when Nvidia Shield came out, right? So like I copped oh. three of them, thinking that the price is gonna like skyrocket. That was the worst. So I was like, all right, cool. Ever. I'm gonna cop these. I'm gonna flip them for like fifteen each. It didn't work out like that. <laughs> Did not work out. I got three Nvidia Shields at home collecting dust. So if you want one, hit me up. Hundred dollars. They're, they're not compatible with the uh, a Mac, so I can't even use my Nvidia Shield. <laughs> it's literally a paperweight. <laughs> it's an expensive ass paperweight, man. I mean, it, look, it looks cool, dude. I can. I, I have the Borderlands Two demo. I, I played the first mission a like, oh hundred Lord, times. The, dude, it's horrible on the Vita. Have you ever played Borderlands on the Vita? No, no I've not. We, we saw that trash. trash I've played. Dude. dude, you feel like games at like fifteen frames a second, okay. maybe ten. I played Killzone, and I can bear with Killzone on Vita because. The way they've done it, it kind of feels a little good, but at the same time, I can't only play that game for probably like an hour tops, and I'm like, nah, I can't. My hands start hurting. Yep. Oh, it's too small. Yeah. No handles or anything. I mean, that's what I feel about the Vita in general. Every time I play for like extended periods of time, my hands just start cramping That's my up. only thing, dude. That's my only thing with like, if the new Nintendo console is a hybrid, I don't want to fucking like another uncomfortable controller. Dude, if they make it a hybrid, it's weird to say, but I kind of hope the controller is like a transformer. Like you tuck in the flaps, but then when it's time to play like a console game, you press into it and it shoots out like extra buttons. And now you can start pressing in the buttons. That sounds stupid. We out here, yeah, Optimus I Prime. Know, I don't know uh, if they can make that practical enough. Right no, no, now. yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, pretty sure it wouldn't the work. Gimmicky bullshit. It's just... <laughs> Like, I don't know. Yo, how would games Just work on that, though? Just give me a fucking regular a, console. Bro. I mean, like, Do you guys think we can get it to the point where it would look like console graphics? Or is it still going to be, like, inferior in uh, the visual course. and performance? Well, no, yeah, yeah. Is, The problem is, See, is that's why it's, I said it's standalone games. technology that's not going to be most likely upgradable. Yeah. That's why That's why that's like, NX sounds cool. It's like, when you're using the handheld, it's less powerful. But then as soon as you dock it into the system... It's well, it's like, what's the longest you usually hold onto a phone? Like some people, it's a couple years, but I mean, to the I think to the average Most person, like a that's probably two, a year, swap maybe two. Year. Um, I swap mine's every four months, <laughs> dude. Uh, For the same phone, Eddie. Yes, used to do that. <laughs> <laughs> our old but uh, our old coworker Eddie used to uh, every like six months or something like that. He got a contract to where he can end his contract like whenever. Wow, that's and dope. he would just trade it in and get it like the next phone he wanted, and basically they trade it in for like enough. Or Met- like a Metro, it's no contracts. That's where it's at. It's cricket. Fuck with it. I guess that's <laughs> the other thing is like, who cares about handhelds when you can just play mobile games? I was just about to say that too. And there's well, that that kill, that there's a ton it, of like dude. shitty mobile games, but there's also really good ones. But too. also the, the Temple big Run. audience that's not like yeah. us, dude. Play Pop Inc. kids. They don't care. Yeah, so the tablets enough then. Tomb Raider Go. You know, but yeah, my, but yeah, I was about to say, like, you see games like Hitman Go and Tomb Raider Go that people are really getting well, into they, that and are, they and they already have it. They don't GTA, have to China worry about Town another Wars. console to pick up. You know what my favorite game five bucks, mobile right. game is? Grand Theft Auto Five. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all would do, uh, shout do, to would Flappy you, Bird. Would you, Greg? Would you want a? Uh, would you want a my hybrid console with, Flappy Bird with NX? For or do you want them to do more of a regular thing? saying that shit for like $100,000. Shut the fuck up. I don't know. Like, I don't think it's, I don't think it's really going to do anything for me either way. Yeah. Because um, I feel like I, I'm just going to neglect the handheld either way. Like, Same. I'm not going to use it. It's so like, like, it's like an option that's there. It's kind of like how... Like, I always get like, suckered like in to get it because of game, like, exclusive games. But and it then used I to be like, oh, look how it. awesome it is. I have a Vita. I can play, like, piece of, I can stream PS4 games to my Vita. Right. It's like, dude, in concept, that's kind of like a, that's a reason why I purchased it, but it's so I never game. fucking The used coolest it. use I, yeah, I ever had for the Vita is when I would go over to a friend's house and play, like, at the time we were playing uh, 
All Stars, mm-hmm. and I would use that as my controller, and then I would just. I've always wanted to do that. Yes. I would, yeah, and then I would just play on the handheld and wouldn't even look at the TV. Did it and lag? Then, not really. Oh, dude, that's like nice. there's a little bit, but not really. Like for that game, it wasn't like you had to have super accurate inputs. Really, it's but. weird to say, but I wish that game was more like Smash. It probably would have taken off. Probably. But it was to be a little, no, little I mean, it different. had a it had a cool mechanic to where like you had to build up your super meter to get kills, but I feel like it was just the fighting mechanics. That's the only reason I that game it was didn't a little take too off. Slow. And the that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That felt was, really slow. Mr. Crash Bandicoot, rest in peace. R.I.P. <laughs> At least they gave me Parappa. <laughs> Dude, no. But was, anyway. Spyro wasn't in that game, was he? No. Was, no. no. Activision Man, owned him, so oh. Yeah. And the, Sky, him and, uh, Skyland Crash. Bruce. Yeah. All right, so uh, topic two, we we'll gonna be talking a little bit about alphas and betas. Greg, hit us with the topic. Alrighty, uh, alphas and betas. We all know they're good for the developer, right? Because they, you know, help you stress those stress test those servers. That's kind of what it's coming. Give down you to. Some, early access, some input kind of what it's on like to. you know what needs to be fixed before launch, things like that. But are they good for the consumer? Do they give us like a false sense of what the game might be? I mean, they o- they always give us the warning, right? This is not going to be <clears throat> destiny. What this the is end product final. is. It's this not is final. not the final end product. Yeah. But at the same time, you get a sense of whether or not you're going to like the game based on what you're playing in an alpha or a beta, right? And then, um, you know, yeah, that's it. So you're saying, is it a good thing? For developers, or is it, is it a bad thing? I mean, thing it's for a good us? thing for developers. I was asking more from the perspective the of the side. consumer, yeah. So, the like, what side, we okay. think. I mean, um, like, with the division, I feel like, like, more recently, we've played more betas than yeah. ever, probably. It's like the division beta. Like, I, like, I feel like I've seen everything that game has to offer just from the beta itself. So, like, to me, as a consumer, like, I don't have a need to play the game. I don't. Interesting, like interesting. I don't like it per se because most of them aren't betas they're stress tests Mm -hmm. that's what i kind of liked with even though they said they still call it a beta they called the uncharted open beta like a stress test when they announced it and they brought it uh this weekend but things like that's a stress test that is not a beta that is a stress test maybe we're gonna work on some things after the after launch maybe a month or two in but um like a beta itself like a real beta the best thing I can think of is preview, like early access games. You know, that's a beta, that's an alpha, that's a beta. Give me that game like now. Overwatch right now on PC. That's a beta. Yeah, that We're game's pretty months, much done. Months in, but all they're doing right now is tweaking how the game plays. That's right. a beta. Yeah, that is a beta. Um, yeah, you're like six. What were the thing? It's May twenty fourth. They announced uh, the date for Overwatch, and people have been playing that since October. And then we've been seeing gameplay on it. Like mm-hmm. that's a beta. Um, what Halo Five did, uh, if you got Master Chief Collection in December in twenty fourteen, yeah, in the end of twenty fourteen, going into twenty sixteen or twenty fifteen, you were able to play the Halo Five Guardians beta, like multiplayer. Mm-hmm. It had like a couple maps in it. The greatest beta I never got into. It was a cool beta though because like it's yeah, cool to see much. everything that like we didn't <laughs> like, and they changed it and tweaked it, right. and like what had almost almost ten months to get into it. That's what a beta is. Not, not. Hey, three weeks before the game comes out, play the beta. That's not a fucking beta. The game's like being shipped right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's not a beta. That's my problem with it. Let me ask you a question. Because so far, every beta we have mostly played it's multiplayer to check the service or whatnot, right? right, right. Stress test. How would you ever? How would you feel about like if they release a single player beta? Like, hey, this is what we have so far. Like, no, like we used like, to get those. They're called demos. demos. No, but yeah, true, I get you. <laughs> we I get, don't get those anymore. Oh, but like, we need to bring them back. Like for Assassin's Creed, for example. Like, I agree. Check out the story. What do you think so far? If it's ass, like let's fix it. Talk about what we need to fix. I feel like that's the, what we need in the gaming community. Now. Yeah, I don't know why we don't get demos anymore. Yeah. That, that was would be that nice was going to be my next question. So I'm glad you brought that up. Like, I don't no, know see, why we get what, betas and don't get demos. Mm-hmm. See, that's what I was going to say. Is let me uh take you guys on a little <laughs> trip to the past. Like oh, let me when I first, <laughs> yeah, this when I first, be like a fuck brisk, down, everybody. yeah, trip. just a just a little okay. stroll. Follow me as we as we skip. Walk through the shadow of the valley <laughs> of the <game. laughs> Take a look at my life. Right <laughs> no, nah, but um, shout out to Coolio. <laughs> no, uh, but uh, I was thinking Amish Paradise. Uh, my bad. 
Uh, how you guys almost connected for a second? I know, but that Jew and him came out. <laughs> <laughs> Amish, bro. Amish. Dude, they were Jewish Amish people. And I'll go back to your story. Uh, no, uh, back. What, what I was going to say was, when I first started playing video games, when I was like around five, I only, between that and like around eight or nine, most of the games I ever played were like demo CDs. Yep. So... That was my PS. I would play those games and be like, dude, Crash 3 is awesome. I want this game. And ever since then, I've always loved playing demos to see what the game feels like, to see if I like it or not. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's so much better than going on a website like IGN, watching watching a trailer and being like, this is so sick. The game comes out and it's like, it lags. You glitch through the floor. Assassin's Creed Unity. Shout out, best game. Uh, No, scratch that. What I'm hearing too on PC. Uh, uh, the, the the disappearing face from Unity's back. Oh yeah. man, that what engine on the? Well, I think it was ported by like you know a port company on pieces. So ah, uh, port house. Yes. It looks beautiful. The AC three team. I bet ported. it has a lot of glitches. It definitely said. I looked at. I mean, like the ACG uh, review you sent me. They were right. like, we're getting glitches on. Blue point should port, port port everything. They're the greatest. Who? Blue, Blue point. point. I think they're more on the console side. No, yeah, they don't. They don't do PC ports. Yeah, so they probably don't but want they'd, to. I, they'd be gold at it. I mean, yeah, they would, but at the same time, too, they'd be getting so many games thrown at them. Do you okay. feel like it's a bad thing? I mean, they hey, usually, if they, they, if they can games. handle it, I yeah. mean, you know. I feel like they just need to, like, buckle down and yeah. hire, like, a hundred more people. Which point did fucking <laughs> Master Chief Collection, dude? Uh, Wasn't that game great, in-house? though? Master yeah, Chief Collection? Yeah, it was awesome. Dude, the, the, uh, the single player lagged. I don't yeah, know how. Single player lag. Single player dude, lag. Dude, it also deleted your level. saves. Skip the level on me. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, you're like, I played Halo 1. Skip the level on me. <laughs> it I deletes mean, saves too. Awful. Like, I was playing on, what is it, Legendary, and it, like, got rid of my progress, so I basically lost two completed levels. That's a uh, heroic difficulty, right? I mean, that's just part <laughs> of the difficulty. Hey, but can I ask you guys something? You guys did get <laughs> to play with Master <laughs> Chief on your Xbox One, right? Yeah, and it was awesome. Yo, All right, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hey, man. <laughs> so what if it eats, at least we got so what if it eats my Xbox save? One. So, I mean, I'll, I'll take it as that because like, it's my favorite franchise. And dude, So what if it uninstalls my Xbox, like, every like, game on my Xbox? You played, yeah, you played Halo 5? Yeah. Had, what, two, three fucking levels of Master Chief? Yeah, I'm glad they put Master Chief <laughs> Collection on there. They're like, <laughs> that, that was basically like, hey, guys, Master Chief's on the Xbox. <laughs> guess what? He's not really in Halo 5. <laughs> Yo, fuck you, man. Oh, hype down. Oh, dude, oh, chill. Dude. Like, I didn't complain when Desmond Miles died. <laughs> I got Phil Spencer tatted on my back. <laughs> you know, chill. Syndicate best game. What am I supposed to do with this now, Phil? <laughs> Phil Spencer died. Nah, dude. Rest in peace. I got Phil Spencer tatted on my back. Shuhei Yoshida tatted Yo, show on my us real stomach. quick. Nah, a little bit Show lower. us real quick. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think they're, they're good for us, though. If that's like the real question, like, I mean, you have the positive like, right where you play it and then you enjoy the experience and you're hyped for the game and then you buy it day one and it's what you expected. And, what could definitely and not like every a time? I think we're just hype. like remembering, dude. How many betas do we have for games now? And how many times is it really that big of a deal? Right. We had Destiny. Yeah. What else did we have? Evolve. Maybe. Those are the two ones I can really think out in this generation. Battlefront. That are like, uh, no, because. Oh wait, wait. You're talking they were, about like yeah, no, they gave you the right. Like a positive? I think I knew Battlefront was going to be bare bones because of how they marketed that game. Yeah. And also, Not, they showed you everything, too. When you were in the beta, they showed you everything that you were going to be able to play with. But it just, just didn't says, show it. It, it just said locked. It. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, we expected that game to be, like, nothing. <laughs> right. And the only people we didn't DLC expect bullcrap. was lack of maps. That's it. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I, I anticipated it. They made this. They fucking made this game in two years. That's insane, especially for how good that game looks. They, you clearly see that's that an they, achievement. They focus. <laughs> oh, dude, two years. That's and the game looks amazing. Is, I mean, yeah. wait a second though. When did? Does anybody remember when Battlefield Three launched? Battlefield Three. Yeah. Came out in two thousand nine, two thousand ten. No, yeah, great. it was ten. It was twenty. It two thousand ten, and then it carried and then into it stopped. Eleven with uh, yeah, and then it stopped. They stopped working on that game in twenty twelve. That's when the last map pack came out, which means. Most of their team was probably already working on Battlefront. Now, do they have a decent amount of time? No, they didn't have Battlefront. No, then. they did not. They, they got the license then. two years ago oh, by the time that game came out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, that's because Disney bought it in 2012, yeah. but they didn't. Shout out to Mickey Mouse. They didn't do yeah. it until like, late 
Like a oh, 20 wow. young 13? problem. <laughs> mid-2013? I think it was mid-2013 is when... It's a little bit over two years, I believe. that they got, Wait, they when did Disney license. get the license, though? 2012, but they didn't give it to um, EA until further on. Are you sh- sure? I thought they got it in, like, 2013. But, I mean, still, that'd be only two years. Two so years. Like, yeah. I said mid-2013. Yeah. All right. I think it's the earliest. So I thought they got it earlier. I mean, two years to make a whole game from scratch, which you, your studio didn't even know you were going to have. Because, like, you know, the second they got that license, they're like, battle front, battle front, battle front. So. It's a big team, though, with a lot of resources. Oh, I mean, yeah, but... yeah. Wait, for Battlefront? No, it's like they Assassin's split on... Creed, like, how much innovation can you really put in the game if you're... Dude, a lot. Have you played Syndicate? Dude, have they... you played Syndicate? <laughs> I mean, like, I've seen, I've seen Let's Play. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, uh, you know... Uh, I mean, have I personally physically played <laughs> the controller? Like, I've, I've pretended Dude, to play my PC. Like, you best know, game. It's a great game. Hey, are you, are you playing Far Cry Primal right now? Dude, ah... Uh, <laughs> I want to say no. <laughs> I, am, I am, though. It's a good game. You have it? No, nah, dude. Fuck that fuck game. Yeah, I was like, fuck no. <laughs> that game didn't do well at that, all. That map, though. That map. It's, it's the same map. I know. You saw that shit? That map, yeah. it, it reminds yeah, me I've noticed, of another yeah, game. Yeah, the comparisons. I feel like Far Cry fans love it, but... I mean, I'm not a Far Cry fan. Yeah, I me mean, neither. You know, as as, like, I'm there, I guess. I like 3 a lot. Yeah, 4 was alright. I never finished I really that. I got bored of it. I'd, honest, I'd honestly put 3 in like my top 20 games I've ever played. Half of four, three. Just, no, no. Bro, just half of three. Oh, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. The whole game just goes down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spoiler alert. <laughs> For a game I mean, that's like four years old. That, yeah. I mean, I guess spoiler Fuck alerts. y'all. Like, you should have known Voss was going to die. I mean, yeah. it would have been awesome if you would have found out that you were actually Voss and he was just crazy. Yeah. That's pretty cool. But anyway, guys. Joker's inside your head. Batman Arkham Knight. Uh, spoiler uh, alert. That's when Mal dies in Assassin's Creed 3. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. No one <laughs> cares. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that, that is the fourth episode of the No Show. Make sure you guys go to our Facebook, facebook.com slash nerd outlet. Like sure you go to Yeah, like it. My bad. Follow Assassin's me on Creed Xbox. 3 also Follow has us a on Twitter. DLC where you can play us a beer. And Instagram. And a hawk. Well, an <laughs> eagle and wolves. Yes. Bear combat confirmed. Assassin's Creed 3 <laughs> DLC. <laughs> Egypt, bro. Assassin's Creed Egypt. Dude, what if that game is just like that movie Egypt Gods? Oh, Gods, 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 Egypt Gods. Dude, I don't know. I hope that game's no. just like that. Like, then it's no. about to be the like, greatest game down, no. like, ever yeah, invented. No, like dark, dark depths of like the underworld with like no, dude. Osiris and stuff. Like no, that. I want, I want Assassin's Creed Egypt to be like super flamboyant. Dude, my problem <laughs> is like, <Yeah. laughs> this, is, this is my problem with Assassin's Creed when it does shit like that. It just dips it, to, it, it, yeah. it just like dips its toes in the supernatural. I'm like, no, like if you're gonna go supernatural, you go supernatural. Don't go. Well, it's because people complain okay. from AC one to like AC three about the whole like science like science fiction I aspect. It. I know, so I, was like, I, I, don't I agree. Know what the fuck's going but on people complained intrigue. about it, so now they're just sticking to the basis of reality and history. So I'm like, <sighs> I know it's boring. Yeah, what what fucking like Leonardo da Vinci are we gonna get this time around? <sighs> Is it Benjamin Franklin? God, <laughs> yeah, I hope dude. not. Yeah, fuck dude, that. did you know he ran through so much muff? Yes, he did. He, had, he was he got he was so much ass. dude. He, in France, he crushed so much pussy, Stop. dude. <laughs> anyway, guys, we'll Stop. see you guys next week. In in France, so he used to be known as Lecoq. <laughs> <laughs> he would only fuck like six year old women, though. He was into that milf shit, as confirmed by Assassin's Creed Three. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, guys, take it easy. We'll see you guys next week. Bye.